Hi, my name is Derek Coleman. I'm a fullback slash running back for the Seattle Seahawks, and I'm also hearing impaired. Ever since I was four years old, um, I've been wearing hearing aids. If you wasn't really my immediate family, I didn't really talk to you. My parents used to take me everywhere with them and kind of forced me into those situations. Basically made me who I am today, made me a very talkative person. <laughs> You talk to anybody who has hearing difficulty, they will tell you we all have fun. We've been bullied, we've been made fun of. And my parents come in, my mom specifically. She said, don't really associate yourself with people who don't want to help you. My dad taught me a lot growing up. Basically told me don't squander any opportunities. You only get so many in this life. And don't get ready, be ready. He basically said that to me day in, day out. As much as I love sports, there was a time when I didn't really do it, but they knew I liked sports so much. So they really pushed me. They didn't let me stop. Some people can't play sports because they just don't have it. But I was able to, that was an opportunity for me. Somebody said I can't do something that's definitely achievable, that's like I probably just gotta work on it, I'm gonna try. And, but, and if I really can't do it, then at least I know I tried. One of my jobs is to block for Marshawn Lynch and Russell Wilson. We really focus on the whole team, the whole offense, knowing when the quarterback can audible. You know, either tells you in the huddle or we know, okay, we're going to run this play, but if it, the defense lines up like that, we're going to switch. If he's just changing something completely different, you know, that's not really part of a plan, they know, regardless of where we are, either at home or they're quiet, or if it's away where it's loud, all you got to do is when he just tell him, just turn around and look at me. Now, I'm not a shy person, and I would go up there and grab him like what, and then go back. Sometimes it's a benefit for me, because I can read lips. I'll be able to understand what the quarterback is saying before everybody else do. That's what I like about football, it's a team thing. All 11 guys have to do the right thing in order for the play to work. This is a rare opportunity. You know, there's only uh, 53 guys on 32 teams, you know, that are able to play. Making my first touchdown in NFL was one of the best events I've had so far. That was the first game back from my injury and, you know, Monday night. That's one of the things that my dad always talked about is that's the opportunity. I saw he threw the ball, and when I looked, all I saw was the ball hit him and came up. I saw a ball in the air. I mean, so I was just like, I'm going to get the ball. So I went and grabbed it, and I just... It all kind of a blur to me because I don't really know exactly what happened because it happened so fast. So I just caught the ball and went in. And then uh, if you really look closely, I'm just sitting there because it took me a second to realize what just happened. And then after that, they said it was a touchdown. I'm like, okay, I can, I can live with that. There's a group of people in this world when you tell them they can't do something, they're going to go out there and do it. You told also he can't be an NFL quarterback because he's too short. He went out and did it. You told me that I can't really play football because of my hearing loss. I went out there and did it. That's the end of the story right there.